Welcome back to the update on the electrical um, resistance furnace. So here we're in our test bed environment uh, where I have the concrete slab on which this rests and let's see here we are consuming 926 watts as you can see right there. So actually for a, a platform that can melt aluminum that's exceedingly efficient. Well, not as efficient as an inductance furnace, but as resistance furnaces go, very efficient. So this is just an aluminum sheet that I have on top of the um, opening, which I'm about to lift to show you the, wow, glowing, look at that. That is just... 900 watts of metal liquefaction power. And I can feel just a massive wave of heat just emanating. Look at that. Awesome, awesome, awesome. So that is the element from a $15 um, single burner electrical stovetop um, bought brand new from Newegg. So bought expressly for the purpose of creating this furnace from scratch and using the refractory materials available from Rutland via Home Depot and I am proud to say that it has been an astounding success. Uh, far and away above much better, much much better than the the swirl furnace, the gas powered, propane powered swirl furnace. It just totally eclipses this roll furnace. Very, very efficient. And when you look at the shielding, it's just unbelievable that this kind of heat can be contained within such a thin thermal barrier. It's just amazing. So let's place this back on top. I always like to keep the tops of furnaces covered just in case. Okay, so I'm just going to shut this off. And, and there we go just to show that it is indeed consuming no power and yet still storing massive amounts of infrared. That's with no electricity applied. Completely, completely electrically cold, thermally ablaze. So you can see it's starting to dull. Really, really, really cool. Very, very nice. Just gonna let it slowly cool down. There we go. So, yeah, if there's gonna be an update to this, probably it'll be an update in regards to electrical connections and a, a overall polish of the project, but compared to the swirl furnace, this was completed in about 400% less time. So a quarter of the time required for the other furnace and I am just, I'm blown away. From now on, it's going to be electrical resistance or inductance. The days of gas-fired melting and metallurgy are starting to fade. Uh, thanks for watching, and talk to you later.